take a look at this founder who reached his first $50 in MRR. It's awesome to celebrate any success story, so let's check out this SaaS product. And so after a long time, they finally reached their first $50 in MRR with their product. We'll take a look at that in a sec, but it's an incredible feeling and he wanted to share it. You can see it's grown from $2 last period to 54.4, which is awesome to see. So let's check out this product and take a look at what it does so we can explore all the different types of SaaS products out there. So it's called YTBE.1 and it allows you to open YouTube links directly in the mobile app, increasing your interactions easily. So it allows viewers to interact with your videos quickly and easily. In this way, your videos get more interaction and your likes, comments, and subscribers increase. So they have over 5,000 users. They created 63,000 links. It looks like 14 million of those links were clicked. But overall, it definitely looks like like there's some traction on the free there as they have quite a few users and quite a few free links click we take a look at the pricing and that's what that two dollars a month comes in is it gives you 10 video links and it's going to go up based on the number of video links and there is an unlimited plan at 20 dollars a month overall it's definitely a pretty affordable app as the most expensive one is only around 20 dollars per month if i just take a look at this objectively i think it's gonna be really hard to scale with this pricing i'd probably remove this two dollars a month plan keep it at free maybe change this to 10. they could also have a scaling here depending depending on the number of links. So let's say going up to 500 to 100, I guess it would depend on how many videos channels have. Unlimited might not actually be a benefit. But my guess is creators who are using this are probably quite large. And if we take a look at their overall metrics, that does look to be the case. It says there's around 14 million links clicks, which is quite a bit. So I could even see them charging more for this. Although I don't have a clear understanding of their customer base and stuff like that. I just think if you look at this, it's typically hard to scale with such a low price point as if you want to reach $1,000 a month. When we use $20 at their max price point here, you, would, you need 50 customers here and it looks like they're just at $50 a month which is overall not terrible but if you look at the $2 a month plans we change that there you need 500 customers and that's quite a few youtubers and for each extra customer you have there's obviously more support and things like that so typically a lot of SaaS startups and micro SaaS products they always try to charge the lower end but as they start to grow you usually see them increase their prices this is one of the easiest things you can do to increase your revenue in terms of the exact process here YouTube links shares on social media platforms will be open as a preview window in the device's default browser. So as such, users cannot like, comment, and subscribe to the video because they are not logged in. This situation creates a bad impression on the audience. It does not bring you any interactions. So it's going to directly open up this link in the YouTube mobile app instead. This way, people can easily like your video, comment, and subscribe to your channel. Definitely a niche product here. And it's probably something you're searching for. And once you find it, it's exactly what you're looking for. And it does give you quite a few analytics here on what you want to see, which I think is super awesome as well. In terms of just overall landing page tips, if I take a look at this, it does have quite a few users and there are testimonials I saw. So I would love to see them on the landing page. I'd say this is probably a little wordy. You may want to instead target the benefit. So it looks like the benefit overall is to increase your likes, comments, and subscribers. It could be something like make it dead simple to increase your YouTube engagement from your other social media profiles. As overall, YouTube is an S tier network in comparison to everything else. So it looks like you're just taking the rest of your social media following and driving it back to YouTube. So you might want to mention that here. Maybe a video demo might be nice. I can see this overall. You might even change the sign up flow here. So when you say get started for free, you have to go and select your plan. Maybe you want to link it to this here where you can create your YouTube link now. Then once they paste it in, then they can select their plan. They're a little more invested at this point. They've gathered the link and they want to see how it works. This will probably give them more incentive just to create their free plan here. In terms of their features, I would probably add that core benefit you talk about right here because if you're looking at the features, it's really just talking about the analytics. So view the hours, view the top countries, view the click performance, view the best days. When in reality, it looks like the core benefit listed above is just to drive traffic to your YouTube channel. But overall, these are just nitpicks here and just things I'm looking at the landing page and maybe just thinking of suggestions. But super awesome to see they've reached their first $50 in MRR, 54.4 to be exact. And he's just got to keep at it, right? Like he looks like he solved a niche problem here. So continue to grow his marketing channel to continue to develop the app and continue to build his audience and loyal customer base. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your own microSaaS product. There's a link in the description below. You can get sneaky microSaaS ideas you can steal for free. All you have to do is just enter in your email. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. So this is going to conclude the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like these types of videos. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.